In this video, I'm going to be creating a custom React hook named the use window resize hook in React.js. This hook is pretty essential because it allows us to get the window width or height at any particular given moment. And this allows us to do a lot of things. So for example, if we get the width and height at any particular moment, then based on a certain height, we can choose to render out different things on the screen as per our needs. So instead of using media queries and CSS to show different content for different widths of the screen, we can just simply use this hook to show different information depending on the width and height and this makes it pretty simple because once we create the hook we just have to import the hook in any file that we need to use and in one line we can just get the width and height and show different components or different ui based on the width and height so in the screen right now you can see this text desktop so what i'm going to do is in my code i have set it up in a way that once the screen size goes below 450 px this desktop text is going to change into mobile and I have also console logged the width and height. So when I start reducing the width of this browser, you're going to notice that the width and height are going to be printed. And once it goes below 450px, this text is going to change. So you can also view the width and height over here on top when I start to reduce. When I reduce this width, you will see the width and height are getting printed out. And the height is constant because we're not changing the height, we're changing the width. So the width on after every event call, it's getting changed. And once I take this width below 450 px, you will see that right about this moment, it changes the text to mobile. So you can see the width right now is below 450 and the text that's being shown is mobile. And if I take it above 450 again, it's going to change into desktop. The width currently is 492, so therefore it shows desktop. So this is pretty essential because using this one simple hook you can render out different components different ui and a lot more different things so let's go and see how to make this custom hook so as you can see on the screen this is my very basic setup i just did npx create react app and deleted the files i don't require and these are the files that i want to work with and all i did was i just created a folder named hooks and within that folder hooks i created a file named use window resize.js and this is where our main logic is going to go and apart from that in the app.css i have just added text align center and a font size and a weight and a font weight and in the app.js i'm just rendering this text desktop so if i go to my browser i can see that this text name desktop is being shown so let's go ahead and start adding the logic i'm going to go to my use window resize and over here i'm first of all going to import the use state and and i'm also going to import the use effect all right and then after this i'm going to create a function named use window resize all right so now in this function essentially what we're going to do is we are going to make use of the use state hook so let's add that first of all i'm going to name it window size set window size and i'm going to equate it to the use state and this is going to be an object that's going to hold the width and we'll set the width to undefined initially and it's also going to hold the height and that will also be set to undefined initially so all we did was we just created the use state named window size which is an object and it has width and height undefined set initially so now every time we use this use window size this use window resize hook anywhere in our application we are going to call that use effect all right so it's going to mount once and we're going to call that use effect when that happens in the use effect we are going to add our main logic so we need to make sure that in use effect we pass an empty array as the dependency because we want to run it only once and when we run it once we are going to attach an event listener to this so i'm going to say uh, window dot add event listener and we are going to listen for the resize event and we're going to call a function named handle resize so this use effect will be called once because of this empty dependency array and when it gets called once it's going to attach a event listener to the window named resize so this resize is provided by javascript itself so whenever we change the width or height of the of the screen this resize event is called on its own so and we have passed this function handle resize so let's add this function logic over here i'm going to say function handle resize and in here all we are going to do is we are going to call the set window resize from the use effect and over here we just need to set the width to window dot inner width and then we need to set the height to nothing but window dot inner 
height i'm going to save this and then we need to call this handle resize function so in this use effect itself in the bottom i'll just call that handle resize so every time this resize even gets triggered and we change the width or height of the browser it's going to go and access the handle resize and when that happens it's always going to keep on changing the width and the height based on the current window inner width and current window inner height so calling it here once is going to make sure that once this mounts the initial width and height of the screen get appended to the state that we have over here set as undefined so after that every time we resize only this one is going to be called this is called here just to initiate the width and height with the current width and height of the screen so after that we also need to make sure that every time we unmount or the application unmounts we need to remove the event listeners so for that i'm going to do window dot remove event listener and i'm going to check for the resize event and i'm going to pass in the handle resize function so this will remove the event listener named resize which has the handle resize function attached to it every time we unmount so now after all this is done at the end of the use window size function all we have to do is we just need to return the window size and this window size is the use state object which will contain the width and height and in the end let's just simply export default our use window resize hook all right so this is all for the logic that we need to add pretty simple and self-explanatory now let's see how to use this so we're going to go to our app.js and in our, our app.js first of all we have to import that file that hook so i'm going to say import use window resize it's available over here I'm just going to import it directly and then after that i'm going to call that use window resize hook function over here i'm going to destructure width and the height and i'm going to write use window resize and i'm going to just call that function so now this should give us the width and the height all right so if i console log it over here you'll be able to see what i'm talking about width and then after that i'm just gonna add the height all right now if i save this and i go to my browser then you can see the width and height get printed over here and if i keep changing this they will also keep changing based on the browser size height stays constant and the width keeps on changing all right so now all we have to do is just render a different text over here based on the width so for that all i'm going to do is i'm going to add curly brackets and over here i'm going to say if width is greater than 450 then let's just say desktop otherwise let's just say mobile so now if i go to my browser and if i start to decrease this and i go below 450 px then you will see it changes to mobile if i go above 450 it says desktop otherwise it says mobile and now you can basically call a function over here which will contain a switch case and that can have different sets of width defined by you for which you want to show different content for example in the switch statement you can add something like for the case of the width being more than 700 px or so or between 700 px and 450 px you can change the string to nothing but tablet or ipad whatever you want so based on the width and height you can customize and render any component or or animation or text or whatever you want based on the width and height that you prefer so ultimately this is a pretty cool custom hook this is used by a lot of developers and in many companies it simplifies a lot of things instead of manually adding the css and trying to set media queries for different mobiles and heights or in some instances you might just want to shorten the code and directly use this width and height from the use window resize hook and display whatever you want to display accordingly so that's all for this video. If you enjoyed the video and got to learn something new, then don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more.